in a nutshell, it was a great trip. And the reason it was great, at least or one of the reasons it was great in my book, was that it wasn't, and much to my relief, we were not missionary tourists, but we were involved in the hard work and the personal work of going out into the world and sharing our faith and sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. Well, like all the other missionaries, I was teamed up with a national as well as a translator. And uh, we had the incredible privilege of seeing God work in the lives of not only individuals, but entire households that came to the saving faith in Jesus Christ. I found myself on the second day in the household of a 94-year-old lady and her husband. We had the privilege of opening up the Bible and studying and exploring God's history of salvation. And it was just so, the most beautiful thing to see God's grace come down upon this 94-year-old lady and her husband. To see them confess their sins and confess their faith that Jesus Christ is their Lord and their Savior. After that, I asked her, I said, in, in 94, you're 94 years old, have you ever heard this story before? And literally, with tears coming down her cheeks, she looked at me and she says, after no, she said no, after 94 years of life, I have never heard this story. Thank you for coming and sharing. How is it possible? Well, it was possible from beginning to end by God's grace. God's grace working through people like you. And so, if you are someone who has supported us with your prayers, with words of encouragement, or with your financial gifts, I want to thank you. Thank you for allowing God to work through you to expand His kingdom. But it was also possible from the Paraguayan side uh, to see God's grace working powerfully through the hard work the toil and the determination of a single congregation in San Lorenzo. It was an incredible privilege to see a congregation that had literally been transformed into a mission outpost. They simply didn't do missions, but the very essence of their being was God's mission. It was a privilege to be with them. Anyway, this mission outpost wasn't from, from at least the human perspective, it wasn't beautiful to see. Their, their worship sanctuary, their worship space, the walls had these huge holes in them where windows were supposed to be. And so we were open to the elements, and when we were there, it was cold and it was very wet. Now one of the reasons for this is because the congregation was spending so much time and so many of its resources being out in the community, sharing the good news of Jesus Christ, meeting the needs of the community, and planting churches. It was also made possible because of their discipleship. Uh, their discipleship was designed to, uh, to raise up, train, equip, and send out Christians with a laser-like focus out into the world to be God's missionary. And as God's missionary, they followed in Paul's sacrificial footsteps, which he wrote about in Galatians 2, uh, uh, verse 20, where Paul said, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives within me. The life I live, I live by faith in the Son of God who died, loved for me, and gave himself for me. My big takeaway from this whole mission trip, there's many of them, but one of the big ones is this. We as a community of faith, we are larger, we are older, we certainly have more material wealth than this little mission outpost in Paraguay. But we've got an awful lot to learn from them. And we can start learning today to be missionaries. There's a great missionary opportunity right in front of us on September 11, the San Diego City Fest. If you've been trained as a counselor, you're going there as a missionary. But even if you haven't been trained as a counselor, you have the opportunity to live as a missionary. Start praying for that person that God has put into your life. Invite that person to go to City Fest and go with them to City Fest. And there they'll hear the good news of Jesus Christ. On your way out, I invite you to grab one of these folders. They're on the guest tables as well as these two end tables. Everything you need to know about City Fest is in here. The schedule, all the information about parking, the best way for us to go is really to go to Qualcomm, park there, and from there, there are free shuttles going back and forth uh, to Mission Bay. One opportunity that lies before us for 